So carbon markets started a long time ago, EU ETS. Um, and, and it was a success if you define success in different ways in that we've shown that we can make carbon markets work if we have very specific parameters and if we have people involved who are willing to make it work and not gain the system. Uh, and that is a very broad summary of, of, of how that has worked. <clears throat> what carbon markets can't do uh, very well is integrate across, globe, across the globe and across different markets. The EU worked because it was one market. Um, but how do we do that with uh, transferring if we had an American carbon market or a North American carbon market or an Asian carbon market? So, so people are working on that, but it's difficult. Um, and also carbon markets, some would argue, are a slow way of getting to the change that we need um, by using a market-based mechanism. And a much better mechanism would be either regulation, you are not allowed to do this, or a tax. And actually the EU, historically, the EU wanted a carbon tax. They wanted a carbon tax with, from, from the EU and from America. And it was America who pushed for a carbon market. Uh, and the EU said, okay, well, we want you involved. So let's, we'll go with the carbon market idea. And then America withdrew completely from the idea at all. Uh, and the EU were left with a carbon market. So a much simpler approach would be a carbon tax. Now, no one's gonna put their hand up and say, please let's tax me more. Um, however, business, many businesses would um, accept that a tax would be a lot simpler. And business like simple and certain. So if there is a simple, certain approach that levels the playing field for all of the different um, uh, companies in an industry, then business aren't going to say they like it, but they're certainly going to be able to plan around it. The problem, of course, is how do you get a tax across different tax regimes? So if you have a tax in the EU only, then and, the, and, and Britain now out, out with the EU doesn't have that same tax, then um, the EU companies will argue that they are being negatively impacted. Equally, many industries are even more international than that. Um, and so you have those issues. So these are really complex, difficult issues. Um, and the Article 5 issue, you need a more expert than me. But I would say that I think we're at a point where we need to we need to make a decision about whether we want to go with a palatable solution that's going to be really tricky and take time, or whether at some point someone has to step up and say, we need to just do something simple, big, and really um, and level that playing field globally. I'm not saying it will work. I'm saying that that's what we need to think about.